This question says that we have this isolated conductor and it has a net charge of positive 15 and then there's a cavity in the middle here, a gap, with a particle that has a charge of 2.4. And we're asked to figure out what the charge is on this cavity wall, the inner cavity wall, and the outer shell because we know that in conductors, the charges, they go to the edges. They go hang out at the edges. Now, let's forget about this net 15 right now. And let's ask ourselves, if this was a neutral conductor, then what would happen is we would get a negative 2.4 on the inner, and then we would get a positive 2.4 on the outer, right? Because it was neutral, it would just balance out to nothing, right? But it turns out that the conductor isn't neutral. It's 15. So instead of that, uh, this is supposed to be uh, net 15. How do you get net 15 from that? Um, doesn't this have to be like positive 17 in order for that to be 15? So that's kind of what we have to figure out. And so we'll just take, um, you know, uh, 15 e to the negative 6, and then we're going to add 2.4 uh, e to the negative 6, and that's going to give us a total. Of, I believe it's um, 1.74 um, e to the negative 5. And this is going to be what's on the outer edge because that's for this portion. And uh, that's the coulombs right there. So that's going to be the charge on the outer edge. And on the inner edge, well, it's pretty obvious. It's just going to be um, negative, uh, negative 2.4 e to the negative 6. And that's for the inner. Okay. <laughs> outer and inner. And we're just using some logic here.